Hey guys, the Super Review Show here for another episode of Rock Talk. This is where I, this is the show where I break down certain albums that have certain significant meaning, whether they have an anniversary or just they're really good. You should listen to them. Here we go. This is about the Police from 1981 when they released Ghost in the Machine. This is an original pressing of the Police's Ghost in the Machine, which has the hit single on it. Every little, every little thing she does is magic, and a couple other big ones like Invisible Sun or Spirits in the Material World. This album. I mean, I was looking for other albums to talk about for this year, and this one popped up. So I figured, why not, you know? I think it's a great album. I mean, aside from the hit singles of Invisible Sun and everything, every little thing she does is magic, the albums in general are... Re- the album is really good overall. It's, it, it definitely was in that new wave type of um, style of rock at the time in the early 80s. But overall, it was still really good. I mean, I liked it personally. Um, there's a like there's a couple of deep tracks on here that I like, such as One World Not Three, Mega Man, Secret Journey. Um, that's on side two. Demolition Man's another one, Hungry for You. There's you know th- and at the time too, the police were just becoming like really, really big um in the United States. This was this was the one of the albums that launched them as a hit band in the United States, one of them. Um even to even greater status because their next album was Synchronicity in nineteen eighty three. And that album had every breath you take, wrapped around your finger, stuff like that. And basically, what I loved about this album, though, was that it it had... the Obviously, my favorite Police song is either Synchronicity... It comes down to either Synchronicity 2 or Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic. I love those tracks. I love them to death. I think they're great. Um, Like I said, there wasn't really much to say about it other than that this album turns 40, you know, uh, back in, from 1981 to 2021. Um, on yesterday, October 2nd, because uh, today's October 3rd. Um, but I, I did want to bring it up just because, uh, you know, the police were such a big band. I really liked them quite a bit. I mean, Sting has, had, uh, has obviously had tons of success on his own as a solo artist, as an actor. But when he was with the police and playing bass and guitar, I mean, he couldn't really get any more bigger than this. This was pretty big, but Synchronicity was next level. Um, this, this, they were playing, Mad- playing at Madison Square Garden with this album. But like when they got to synchronicity, they got to sell, they got to sell out, sell out Shea Stadium. Sorry, assuming the S's, sell out Shea Stadium and other stadiums across the world. So honestly, it was definitely something. This album when it came out, um, there's not like I said, there's not really much to talk about with it. It's not like it, it, was it a big album? Yes, yes, it was. It wasn't as big as like other ones we talked about this year on the Super Review Show, as far as like Nirvana's Nevermind and stuff like that. But you know, there's obviously this was obviously a key one for the new wave audience. And my aunt's a big fan of the Police. She actually she has met Sting a couple of times too, because I, I mentioned this before. She works in the music industry. Um, but yeah, there's not really not much else I can go off of on this album other than I like it. I really like the tracks on this album. Like it's it's definitely a, a product of the new wave era of rock. Um, the early with like the uh, um, Simple Minds, Tears for Fears, stuff like that. But the police were something else, in my opinion. The police were something a bit above that, in my opinion. But that's me. Um, and like I said, the the single everything every every little thing she does is magic actually reached number two, three or two on the Billboard Hot 100 in eighty one or eighty two. So this was an album with a hit single that launched the police even more into the mainstream than their next album, Synchronicity, Synchronicity cemented them as giant rock stars. And at one point, they were the biggest band in the world. But this was a nice step forward for them. I really like it. But ultimately, guys, what do you guys have to say about this? Have you heard this album from start to finish? Have you have you heard this thing from start to finish? Look at the cover, too. It looks like it's a ghost in the machine. Get it? It's question marks and stuff like that. What do you guys think? Have you Are you a police fan? Jump down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. But uh, yeah, for all of your Rock Talk episodes and other anniversary videos, keep it locked in the Super Show. The J-Man is off to rock. We'll see you guys later. Have a good one.